Hello everyone! As you probably already know, in ClickSense you can make all kind of visu visualizations and uh, you can modify them as you wish. The one thing that is not so easily modified, however, is the colors. For example, if you have this chart, like this pie chart, you will not be able to change these colors for each of these value as you wish. It's being done automatically. And there is nothing you can do about it. It's just the way ClickSense is created. However, you can make that colors would change according to the value other fields has. Let's say, for example, KPI field. We have expenses, we have revenues. Let's edit the sheet. Let's copy the revenue field. So Ctrl C. Once you press paste Ctrl V, the field will appear on the empty spot on your sheet. Let's copy the formula from the expenses. Let's minus it from the revenues and hit enter. Here we go. But this is not a revenue. This is a profit. Yes. Now it's green. Well, yeah, this is a plus. That's why it's green. Will it change if it would be a minus? Let's check it out. Let's press done editing. Um, the first year, as you can see, had a lot of more expenses than the revenues. So let's add this filter. And the profit goes to minus. But it's still green. No, no, no. It should not be green. It should be red. But it's still green. Hmm. What should we do? Okay, let's fix this. Let's remove the filter. Let's edit the sheet. Yeah, now we have a profit. Let's go to appearance. And we have a couple of options. So, first one, conditional colors. Yes, please. Let's turn it on. And let's add the limit. Once we add the limit, we can change it later. We can select two colors from which one to which one the color on the field will change. So on the right side let's make it green. On the left side let's make it red. And let's change the turning point to the zero. Here you go. If it's more than zero it will be green. If it's less than zero it will be red. We can select gradient. So the color will go smoothly. If it's around the zero, it will be kind of red, kind of green. If it's like minus one, it will be also kind of green, kind of red. If you remove the gradient check mark, if it's then, if it's minus one, it will be red. If it's plus one, it will be green. So this is up to you. I will leave it this way. Let's press done editing. So as you can see, it's slightly darker green than this one because it has a little bit tones of reds. Let's press on here. Let's apply the filter and here you go. It's red now. Yep, this is what we want. Yeah, and once the filter is applied, the color changes accordingly. So if you press this one, let's take two years. It's still minus. It's still red. The first two years was not so successful. So I hope you enjoyed this short but sweet episode. If you like the video, please press that like button somewhere here below, below, below the screen. If you don't like, yeah, press dislike. And it would be nice if you would let me know why don't you like it, so I could improve myself. And please consider subscrib subscribing the channel because it really matters. And as always, if you are a patron, you will get the file for free. So, see you next time. Cheers. But this is the last video for today. Okay. Water. I think the beginning was okay from the previous video.